Guys, we're doing a bit of a different video today where I'm actually going to be analyzing a game from my one-on-one -on -one client. I've been working with Oscar for a couple of months now and one of the things he gets with the one-on-one -on -one service is he's able to send me his footage so that I can analyze it and we can create routines and training around his performances, his weaknesses, his strengths, what he needs to work on and so on. So I thought a useful video would be me taking you through one of his games and I want to do this because not only does it serve as a good example for many of you, he's playing in the winger position, so especially for you wingers, um, but I also want to get your feedback. I want you to maybe pick up on some things that I missed or um, some things that you think should be added, and I would love for you to chime in um, with your feedback for Oscar so that he can take it moving forward. Now, this is constructive criticism, constructive feedback only, any negative comments or someone who's just attacking um, someone that will be removed. Just give your feedback on his performance, where you think he can improve, all that fun stuff. So let's get into it. Okay, so kickoff time. Now I'm gonna say in these first few clips of you, um, it's very hard to see where you are because you're on the opposite side, but I'm gonna try and accurately guess which one you are. So for these first few clips, I didn't notice anything that I need to hold back and analyze um, because again, it's very hard to see what you're doing. I think this is the first clip where I actually know which one is you. And it looks like, yeah, you, you uh, made a good run out wide. I like this, you also worked hard and won a foul for your team, so that's really good. So right here, free kick duty. And again, it's a bit hard to see what happens. It looks like it rolls under and is blocked. And then right here, it uh, looks like you work hard and unfortunately it goes out and you don't get the best cross in that time, although your crossing in other games has been really good. So I think the rest of the clips are a little easier to see, so let's see. Okay, so right here, I remember this play, I believe. A uh, ball comes in and it just, it evades everyone and it looks like you weren't ready for it. All I can really say in this kind of situation is anticipate the unexpected happening sometimes. You always have to be ready. Um, I don't blame you for not at that point. It went through, I think, three or four guys who all should have probably gotten a touch on it, either the defenders or your own teammate. So it is hard to know if that's coming through, but even if 99 times out of 100, that's not gonna come through to you, always expect that it's the 100th time and it is gonna come through, uh, through to you. Expect it, and then you'll be prepared for that and hopefully get a tap in. Okay, so right here, I see you make the run out wide. Um, I think it's a good run. I think your teammate maybe chose the wrong option there because I believe your run helped pull uh, the defender away from your other wide guy. Um, or he probably should have tried to lift it over the defense but tries to thread it through. Um, but I like the run. I like that you're making more runs, trying to get in behind there. Uh, nothing wrong with the run that you made. Okay, so I know it kind of bobbles around in the midfield here. A uh, guy does a nice little sombrero over you, but I love that you're working hard and you're closing him down. You force them out wide. I can't really see what happened after that. If it was a goal kick, it looks like it is a goal kick, so great job. Great work ethic. I mean, I've told you before how much I love your work ethic, um, and that's just really good. And what I also love is a lot of players, when a sombrero goes over them or they get nutmegged or some other kind of so-called embarrassing uh, moment or trick, uh, a lot of players kind of throw their hands up and you know get out of the play I like that immediately you didn't care you went after him hunted him down and got a goal kick out of it uh, so good work okay so next play uh, I like this one too you know you take control of the situation you run with the ball and you got some speed man um, which is good too you play a pretty good looking ball to I'm assuming one of your midfielders or strikers and he's just a little off it you know if, if that's a little less on that ball he could be in behind so I like this play as well. Okay, so right here, again, demonstrating how fast you are. Really good job to get to that ball. And uh, I believe, oh no, lacrosse goes into the keeper here. So, you know, in that situation, you didn't have much in the box. You know, you could try and cut it back, protect the ball. Again, it's hard to see exactly what's going on, but there I think maybe shielding it, letting more of your teammates come up with you for that play. I mean, you do have your one teammate in the box. And actually, now that I'm looking at it again, if you get a good cross in across the box, he may have a tap in. So going for the cross is not really the wrong option. But another thing I want to point out, man, is you're fast. You know, if you notice throughout the game that a defender isn't as fast as you, you can push the ball by them. You don't need to overcomplicate it. Use your speed to your advantage when you get um, the opportunity to do so, like in this play. 
Okay, so for this one, I think that you bringing the ball down. Ah, okay, I remember this one. So this is really good. You brought the ball down and you immediately go back out wide. And I love what you do here because you do a few pieces of good movement right here. You go out wide. Then you notice once your teammate's in to make a little dashing run to the center and you almost get to it, it looks like. It looks like the defender actually just gets to it on time. But this little run, and I know we're gonna see you make it later in this in this footage, but this little run is is beautiful, man. You start out wide and you start you just you bust along to get in front of that defender when the ball's played in or before the ball's played in, get that little toe in, and you have a goal. So in this case, it's unfortunate. It looks like the defender just got a toe on it at the last second, but keep making that run from out wide to in. Um, you can also do it opposite from in to out wide in certain scenarios, but I like this run and you're really unfortunate not to get a goal in this situation. Okay, so this play, I, um, this one I, I really couldn't tell which one was you. I'm assuming you played the ball. And then this finish is not the best. So hopefully that's not you on the finish. Not a great finish, but if you played the ball, great job. If not, then not much to analyze here. <laughs> okay, so now we're into the part where I can actually see you a little more. So right here, not much to say. Good job, shielded the ball, kept the ball, didn't lose it in a dangerous spot, played it back to your keeper, who I'm assuming cleared the danger. Okay, so right here, you get the ball here, and I remember liking this play. You know, you kind of come in immediately, run at the defense, good little move, good other move, and then the shot, not so great, but I like a few things about this, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you about it. I like immediately when you get the ball, you look to go forward. You know, you uh, this guy just does not follow you, so you take full advantage of that. Again, your teammate's not ready for the pass there. The defender anticipates it, so you cut in on him. Um, and I'm, I have no problem with you dribbling. I have no problem with you doing this. Just remember when you are dribbling like this to look up to see where your teammates are. I see a guy out wide. You know, you have a guy, I think in the box you might be able to find or another guy right next to you you could play the ball to who can get off a better shot. Um, I have no problem with you shooting. But just remember when you go on a little run like this, especially after you beat a man, uh, they're going to be gravitated towards you. They're going to be magnetized towards you. People are going to fall in and cave in on you. Uh, multiple defenders. I think there was four or five guys almost who came in on you, which is going to open space. If your teammates are being smart, open space for them. And if they can find those spaces, look out for them. But, you know, I have no problem with you shooting here. It looks like the only really available guy you have is the one out wide. So no problem with that. And it just comes down to if you take a better shot um, that tests the goalie or even goes in, then it's more than worth it. Okay, so we're going to watch this play. Um, okay, so, all right, that's right. So, yeah, it's a good job. You're infield a little more because the ball's on the opposite side, so that's good. And I'm assuming the other team had the ball and then you won it. So what I would actually like you to do here is play your left back um, instead of playing your keeper in this situation um, because I think there's a chance there that you play him and then you can make a run up the line or your striker can make that run, and it just helps you go forward. So... I don't know if you didn't know the guy was on your back or you were just playing safe to keep the ball, which there's nothing wrong with that either. Um, but I think your left back should have gotten the ball here and then you can make a run um, or one of your midfielders because there's just, just so much space here to be exploited. It just takes you playing him and then one person making that run. If your striker makes it, he pulls that defender out. Um, if that defender doesn't follow him, he gets the ball. He pulls that defender out. The midfielder hopefully will take up that space that's open. So there's a lot that can happen if you play that and then make the runs forward. So just be aware of that. But again, you know, if you think there's a chance you're going to lose the ball there, um, there's nothing wrong with playing safe, but it could have been a little more dangerous if you went for that option. And, and of course, everything I said plays out, which is not always the case. But other than that, not much wrong with it. Right here, uh, you do a good job using your body. And I remember this play, you just kind of get unlucky. But man, I love your work ethic here. You keep going, you harass him, and then eventually... Um, I'm actually not sure which way that throw went in. It almost looked like the ball was already out. So I'm not 100% sure. I'm assuming they got it. Good job as far as your work ethic there. You know, as far as the touch, you know, it was good. I don't know if it came up on your hand, but, um, you know, you, you did really well with the situation there. You know, it was a good little touch. You lost the ball, won it back, lost it, but kept going. And I love that you don't put your head down or give up. You keep going even when you lose the ball. So good job. So here's your penalty. Uh, good penalty. You know, the keeper went the right way and you still scored on him, which is a sign of a good penalty. And just to throw in, I'm really, I, I love that you're your penalty taker for your team. 
keep it up. You know, great confident penalty. I know you've scored a few others this season, so love this. Okay, so right here, I actually love this play. You get the ball and you play quick. So this all starts with you. Uh, your teammate does a good job, controls it, gets into the middle. And then I can't see you yet, but I know you're out wide. Ball goes out wide the other way. And then I love this little run that you make. You're on a shoulder, on a shoulder, boom. You loop in front of him and you have a tap in. That's a fantastic play, man. You know, that's a fully deserved goal. Great little movement. You know, you almost had this. I remember in the first half with a similar run, but this time, great run. The defender can't do much about it, and it's a simple tap-in, and you got two goals already in this game. So, again, keep making those runs. If you watched a lot of the Premier League this year, Raheem Sterling made so many of these types of runs um, where he would get in front of the defender or go along the back, and the ball would come through, and he'd have a tap-in. They all count, and I also want to point out is you started that play, and you finished that play, which is awesome. You, you were the one that had the the, the um, foresight to play that ball quickly, get in the box, make that good run, and then tuck it away. So, great play. So right here is not much to talk about. You get the ball, try and shield it, just put a little more on this pass, and then also try and come back a little bit quickly, burst in the space to give him an option, um, because if he does get a better pass there, he's gonna be stuck in the corner, so you wanna try and make yourself available as much as you can. Okay, so right here, I like that you draw the defender away from your left back. Good pass by him to you, and then I know you play another good one to him, and then keep making your run. Not sure what happened with the rest of the play, um, but it, it is good movement. I think probably the defender got the ball for the looks of it, but it's a good play. I like the initial. I love your movement. Your movement has definitely improved. I love that you're looking to drag the defender away. You may have been trying to get in behind, but you also, as a byproduct, dragged um, your opposition away from your left back who had plenty of space and then again continuing to look for that pass continuing to make um, To have good movement. It's a good play on your part So here I know you take a fantastic touch here um, if that's deliberate man. Absolutely. Absolutely fantastic uh, So here I want to see you Kind of use your body to protect the ball a little more again. Great fight. You keep going um, you know It's it's really good work ethic on your part be careful with that slide as long as you don't get the man that's fine and you know you do put him under pressure, which I like. Um, but with the initial part where you did such a good job to flip the ball over, you know, right here you're on the counter. I would love to see you instead of trying to nutmeg him, which it looks like what you went for. And look, if you pull it off, it it's amazing, and you're you're exactly where you need to be. But if you can kind of cut it back a little bit, you know, what? you could probably now that I'm looking at it again at the moment you cut, you could fake that cut and push it down the line a little more if you think you can beat this guy for speed because I think you might be able to. And at that point, once you've done that, the guy who is marking your striker, he has, an op he has two options. He can either come to you, which means you can put your striker through, or he backs off and you can run at him. So a few different options for you there. You can either cut back in the middle with the ball closer to you so this guy can't get a foot on it, or you do a fake, maybe even like a little step over, push it down the line, and then, then so much can happen there. But the touch initially is good. The fight's good. Um, not much more to say about that play. Not much to this one. It's really good, though. You take a, a pretty decent touch and then nutmeg this guy, which, again, I just want to point out, what did that guy do when you nutmegged him? He gave up. He didn't chase you. He just kind of starts walking and then went, ah, oh, God, whatever. And if he kept going, he probably could have covered the man, your other man you gave the ball to. Uh, but good little piece of skill. Um, trying to think of anything else you could do. Um... No, not really. I can't see the rest of the play, so I can't really say much more. Um, but just to you, and I know other people are going to be watching this too, don't do what this guy did when you, because you told me you nutmegged him here. You nutmeg him, and he just kind of goes, oh, God, and gives up. Um, that is not the right response. In fact, you, you, you got sombreroed, if that's even a word. Someone flipped it over you earlier in this game, and you kept going, harassed him, and got a goal kick. So just an example of, you know, just because you get made, just because someone beats you one-on-one, -on -one, work hard and recover, something you do very well, but it's a good play from you here. All right, guys, so for those of you watching the video, that's the end of this analysis. Let me know if you like this, if you want me to do more videos, uh, more video analysis videos of my clients who send me clips. Um, we can do some more of Oscar. He's been sending me a lot of his games, and I'm sure... Um, he wouldn't mind me doing more of these in-depth uh, analysis videos for his matches. So just let me know if this is like a little series you want to see 
happen on the channel consistently, let me know. I think this can be very helpful. Um, and we'll have other games too where there's more mistakes and more things to probably analyze in depth as well. So it won't just be good games. We can do games that um, don't go so well for the players because in fact, we can usually learn more from those games. Anyway, just let me know if this is something you wanna see more of. Um, make sure you hit that like button. Also, if you like this, leave in the comments, again, your constructive feedback for Oscar um, because you know it just helps to have everyone kind of seeing and looking at it, more eyeballs on it, which means you can pick up on things I missed or maybe even have a different opinion about. I'm inviting all of that, uh, so leave that down below. Guys, thank you so much for tuning into this video. Um, I enjoyed making it. I would love to make more. And uh, make sure you check out the other two videos I put up on screen um, if you want to improve your game and stand out on the pitch anymore. If you're actually interested in one-on-one -on -one, uh, client service, uh, client coaching, let me know. There is a link down below. Um, just recognize I'm on I only take specific players, serious players, um, players who are committed to growth and uh, fit a certain mold. So not all players will be accepted, but if you think you're someone who would fit and you're interested, go check out that link. Um, and we'll talk and see if it's something that'll work. Anyway, thank you so much for tuning into this video and I'll see you in the next one.